Hello, I'm you of the tube or X or whichever platform you're watching this on. Um, so a brief discussion on anomalous thrust or weight loss or anti-gravity, whatever you want to call it, in capacitors charged at very high voltages. Um, so to start with the basics, this is a capacitor. Um, you've probably seen them. If you've seen an electronics board, you're likely to have seen one of these. Many shapes and sizes. Um, this is a very simple homemade one. Um, so a capacitor is basically two conductors. These are aluminium plates. And sandwiched between them is the insulator or the dielectric. This stores electric charge when electricity is applied to the conductors. Um, back in the 1920s, Thomas Townsend Brown was experimenting with early X-ray tubes and he noticed that when he applied high voltages to the capacitor in his setup, uh, there was thrust towards the direction of the positive. So let's say, so these are electrodes, the plates. Um, let's say the top one is the cathode, the positive, and the bottom one is the anode, the negative. Um, when he applied the voltage, there'd be movement in the direction of the positive plate. Uh, obviously a very interesting facet because it's like propellantless thrust unless you regard electric charge as your propellant. Um, now the dielectric, the insulating layer between the conductors, its ability to store charge is described by the dielectric constant or K and in something like perspex it's just you know two or three I think four at the most. In nitrile rubber which I used in my first experiment. Uh, it's anywhere between like two and a half to 10. Um, in my next experiment, I'll be using calcium copper titanate. Uh, the K value of that, the dielectric constant of that is anywhere from 10,000 to 250,000. And I got weight loss thrust, whatever you want to call it, of, um, 0.2 grams and my capacitor weighed about 90 grams uh, which equates to about 0.222 recurring percent of thrust which is very small and not useful on earth anyway um, but if your dielectric has a, a k value of 10,000 or more the thrust is obviously larger um, so that's my next experiment and according to my calculations, uh, the thrust should be about 200 grams, but we're yet to see. Time will tell.